I think we've clearly plateaued and we're going down. We already have some silver linings. Some signs of hope that the Bay Area may be about to peak from the latest Delta surge. Case rates trending down. Booster shots are on the way. ABC 7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra spoke with two of the state's top doctors, and they say, Steph, there is a light at the end of this tunnel. That's right, Larry. A silver lining in the face of COVID. That's something we rarely get to report on, but when it does happen, we want to be forthcoming. What's clear is the state's case rates are still increasing, but the rate of increase is slowing, especially here in the Bay Area. After the past two months of Delta's dramatic surge in California, two of the state's top doctors say there's a glimmer of hope and the Bay Area is first in line to see it. The light is at the end of the proverbial tunnel. I think the Bay Area is sort of leading the way in terms of an early peak and starting to come down. UCSF's Dr. Bob Walker and Dr. Peter Chin Hong suggest the Bay Area is showing signs it may be the state's first major metropolitan area to have its surge begin to peak as cases and hospitalizations are trending down. The surge went from 10 cases a day in San Francisco to 280. We're back down to about 220. Uh, UCSF had one hospitalized COVID patient in the beginning of June. We went up to about 40, 45. We're back down to about 35. ABC 7's data analysis found that trend across the Bay Area and California. It's still increasing going up the curve, but the rate of increase is going smaller. Dr. Chin Hong says two weeks ago, there was a 22% increase in new COVID cases. But this past week, that figure dropped to 7%. He says this is our reward from indoor masking and people being more careful. And I think in two weeks, we'll start to actually be beyond the crest and start coming down in cases. Hospitalizations will probably you know, sort of pressed at around the early or middle of September because they lag. A promising sign coming around the same time the FDA is expected to recommend COVID-19 booster shots for everyone eligible, regardless of age. Dr. Walker says the announcement will happen any day now, but the rollout won't be immediate. It will probably start in mid-September and it won't immediately be for everyone. Aside from immunocompromised patients, Walker says anyone who got their shot more than eight months ago will be eligible for a booster shot. And then from there, I'm guessing that it will probably mirror what we saw in February. It'll probably be people whose vaccines were eight months ago or more who are over 60. Where the J&J &J people fit in, I think, is an open question. Do you think we will experience the same side effects with this booster shot? My guess is on average they'll be about the same or maybe even a little bit better. Now, Wachter expects the booster rollout to go much smoother than our initial one. Assuming the process starts in mid-September, like he said, he predicts if you're not in a priority group, say a healthy person under age 60, boosters will likely be available by late fall or early winter. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News. So, Steph, do we know how long that booster shot would last? And what happens if you just say, you know what, I'm good, I don't want to take it? Yeah, it's interesting, Larry. Right now, Walker says there isn't enough data to support whether we will need a booster every eight months or every year. But given what we know now, it's certainly leaning in that direction. As for what happens if you don't get a booster, Walker explained it really depends on how careful you're being. For example, he got his shots around nine months ago now. At that point, it provided 95% protection against contracting COVID. But now that we know those levels go down within eight months, he says that protection could drop down to 50%. Interesting. Stephanie Sierra reporting live. Thank you, Steph.